Yes. How close it is? Almost. How loud and... Yes. How loud is too loud? Okay, we're going to talk about how loud is too loud. They asked us to think about how loud the music is and how long we listen to it. Okay? So we listen, we measure music in a unit called decibels, which is written like this, an abbreviation. And the dividing line between safe listening levels and dangerous listening levels is 85 decibels. Okay. So right now I'm talking to you at about 60 decibels. We could do this all day without damaging our hearing. Okay. And 85 decibels is equal to, let's say, city traffic when you're sitting in the car with your windows shut or uh, a noisy restaurant or perhaps a noisy vacuum cleaner. But once the sound levels get past 85 decibels, we have to consider how long we listen to it. So at 85 decibels, we could listen to music safely for eight hours without damaging our hearing. But for every three decibels of sound that we add to this, we have to reduce our listening time in half. So at 85 decibels, we can listen to music for eight hours a day. At 88 decibels, we have to reduce the listening time to four hours. So at 91 decibels, we reduce the listening time to two hours. Okay? So at 94 decibels, how long can we listen to music for? One hour, absolutely correct. And at 97 decibels? Half. Yes, half an hour, absolutely correct. So we have to consider how loud the music is and how, and how long we listen to it. Okay? And I want to talk to you about a type of hearing loss that maybe some of us have already experienced. And it's called tinnitus. And that's a ringing sound in your ears. And sometimes the sounds may seem muffled, like you have cotton stuffed in your ears. And I don't know, has anybody been to um, a loud concert or a soccer game and you come out afterwards and, you know, there's a little bit of ringing in your ears and things just seem a little, little muffled? That's happened to some of you? Yes, absolutely. And that's a sign that you're starting to do some, some hearing damage, okay? Now, the other form of tinnitus is a constant ringing sound in your ears that does not go away and that's permanent, okay? You have done some damage to your hearing permanently, okay? And I know a lot of us can't relate to, let's say, a ringing sound in your ears, but imagine listening to a mosquito buzzing in your ears for the rest of your life, okay? That would be awful, wouldn't it, okay? So this form is temporary and this form is permanent, okay? So what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about some things and places that cause damage to our hearing. Can I get another volunteer? Who's ready to come up? Okay, come on up. Okay, so let's think about this. What places do we go or what sounds may cause damage to our hearing? Does anybody remember some of the things we saw in the video? Where do we go that might cause some damage to our hearing? Uh, a loud concert. A loud, yeah, a loud concert. Okay, we've got two answers there. Great, loud concert, city traffic. What else? Um, a baseball game, basketball game. Baseball game, basketball game, yeah, absolutely. Yes, what other sounds may cause damage? City traffic. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, city, city traffic, traffic right? yes. Sorry? An airplane. An airplane, possibly if you were uh, d down on the ground there. Uh, we have a loud concert, city traffic, sports, sports games. games. That could be basketball or soccer. Possibly an airplane, maybe if you were sitting over the wings or down on the ground, bringing them in. Uh, what other sounds may cause damage to our hearing? Yes. TV, absolutely, if it's too loud. <laughs> yes. A factory, absolutely. Yes. Vacuum cleaners. Vacuum cleaners, absolutely, if we're vacuuming and they're really loud, especially the shop vacs, absolutely. Yes. A chainsaw. A chainsaw, very good. What else can cause damage to our hearing? Yes. 
iPods, absolutely correct, iPods. And does anybody help their parents outside? Does anybody, you know, do any yard work with your parents? What things do we use outside that can damage our hearing? Yes. Lawn mower. What else? <laughs> yeah, shotgun. <laughs> okay. Shotgun, absolutely correct. You know, because although it's not common to us, if, <laughs> if you live in the country, you might use a shotgun. And the other thing is, does anybody go paintballing? Yeah. Okay, that's a form of a, a gun, a form of a shotgun, okay? <laughs> yes. Sorry? An ambulance? The siren? Yeah, sirens. Okay. What else do we use outside when we're working in the yard that could damage our hearing? Yes. A leaf blower? Absolutely. <laughs> Can we write down a leaf blower, please? And what else do we use? A chainsaw. Absolutely correct. Oh, we got that down. Okay. And I need to ask you. I need to ask you. Does anybody here do motorized sports? Does anybody here go go-karting? Yes. Okay. Anybody here ride a, a cross-country bike or a motorcycle or an ATV? Okay, yeah, okay, motorized sports, absolutely. Very good. All right, so let's take a look at this list. Motorized sports, thank you very much. And I'm sorry if my spelling's horrible. Oh, it's okay, we're not counting on spelling. We have a really great list here, sounds that, or places that may cause a damage to our hearing. A loud concert, city traffic, airplanes, TVs, factory, vacuum cleaners, chainsaws, okay. And I want to talk about iPods. How many of you here own an iPod or an MP3 player? Okay, yeah, most of us do. All right, and I want to talk to you about and do a little experiment. I want to see what sound levels you're listening to music on on your iPods. And I'm going to need some volunteers, but I need some really honest volunteers. I want you to come up. We're going to listen to some music, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to measure what levels you're listening to your music on at, on the iPod, okay? But we need you to be really honest about this. So can I have, yes, the girl in blue, come on up. A oh boy, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Our, our volunteer in blue, would you like to come up? <laughs> Your hair is as gorgeous as mine. <laughs> okay, Joel's going to hook you up here. And you have Saul Williams listed in Mets. Okay, but we need you to be really quiet, guys, because you know what? Your voices register on the sound meter, so let's be really quiet. Is that it? Okay, then let's take that out. Take one butt out. I want you to look. We got 78, 79, so we do have a safe listener here because what are our safe listening levels? 85. 85 decibels, so you're at 79, so you're good. Okay, get you to hang on to. Okay, can we get another volunteer? Come on up. So, Stronger by Kanye West. Got Back of Black Bass and Saul Williams. Yeah, is there anything else you want to say? 